हेलो फ्रेंड्स ट्वेंटी फोर्थ अप्रैल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री करंट अफेयर्स में आप सभी का बहुत बहुत स्वागत है कामाख्या टेंपल कॉरिडोर द वेरी फर्स्ट रिपोर्ट द गवर्नमेंट इन असम इज़ प्लानिंग टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ कॉरिडोर एट द कामाख्या टेंपल इन गुवाहाटी ऑन द लाइंस ऑफ द काशी विश्वनाथ टेम्पल कॉरिडोर इन वाराणसी द प्रोजेक्ट विल ट्रांसफॉर्म द ग्रैंडियोर ऑफ दिस मेजर शक्तिपीठ सिग्निफिकेंटली वाइल also improving the accessibility for different tabled and aged devotees and tourist manifold kamakhaya temple is located on nilachal hill in guwahati assam it is considered one of the oldest and sacred places of worship millions of pilgrims and tourists visit the temple every year especially during the ambubachi mela held in june every year Ambubachi Mela is a four-day fair to mark the annual menstruation of the goddess. One of 51 Shakti Peets or seat of Shakti followers, each representing a body part of Sati, Lord Shiva's companion. The temple sanctum sanctorum houses the yoni, female genital symbolized by a rogue. The attainment of womanhood of girls in Assam is celebrated with a ritual. called tuloni bia meaning small wedding the counterpiece of tantric shaktism cult in india the main temple is surrounded by individual temples dedicated to the 10 mahavidyas kali tara shodashi bhuvaneshwari bhairavi chinamasta dumavati pegal mukhi matangi and kamal matika pslv c55 mission the very next report Indian Space Research Organisation is scheduled to launch the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle C55 PSLV C55 mission with Singapore Stellios 2 as primary satellite and Lumelite 4 as a co-passenger satellite. PSLV C5 C55 mission has the PSLV orbital experimental module where the spent PS4 of the launch vehicle would be utilized as an orbital platform to carry out scientific experiments through non separating payloads this is the third time that ps4 will be used after satellite separation as a platform for experiments telelos 2 satellite primary satellite support the satellite imagery requirements of various agencies within the government of singapore carries a synthetic aperture radar payload providing all weather day and night coverage and be capable of imaging at 1 meter fully polarimetric resolution limelight 4 satellite a co-passenger a co-passenger satellite an advanced 12u satellite developed for the technological demonstration of the high performance space borne vhf data exchange system It aims to augment Singapore's navigation, maritime safety, and benefit the global shipping community. Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. It is known as the Workhouse Workhorse of E Zero. It is the third generation launch vehicle of India. It is a four-stage launch vehicle with first and third stages using solid rocket motors, and second and fourth stages using liquid rocket reg- engines. SpaceX Starship exploded during first test flight the very next report SpaceX Starship the world's biggest report exploded during its first test flight to space SpaceX Starship spacecraft and super heavy rocket collectively referred to as Starship it is the first stage or booster of the Starship launch system powered by 33 Raptor engines using subcooled liquid methane and liquid oxygen The Raptor engine is a reusable methane oxygen stage combustion engine that powers the Starship system super heavy is fully reusable and will be re-enter Earth's atmosphere to land back at the launch site. Starship spacecraft is the second stage of the Starship system. It is also capable of point to point transport on Earth enabling travel to anywhere in the world in 1 hour or less. It is a fully reusable transportation system designed to carry both crew and cargo to Earth orbit, the moons, Mars, and beyond. It is the world's most powerful launch vehicle ever developed, capable of carrying up to 150 metric tons fully reusable and 250 metric tons expendable. Fourth India CARICOM Ministerial Meeting, the very next report. India's External Affairs Minister co-chaired the Fourth Indian CARICOM Ministerial Meeting with his Jamishian counterpart. 
CARICOM, which stands for Serving Community, is the oldest surviving integration movement in the developing world. It is an organization of Serbian countries and dependencies originally established as the Serbian Community and Commons Market in 1973 by the treaty of Chogarams. Main purpose is to promote economic integration and cooperation among its members. To ensure that the benefits of integration are equitable shared, the to coordinate foreign policy. It has 15 members, Antigua and Barbuda, Barbuda, the Bahamas, the Barbados, Belize, Dominicia, Jelenda, the Guayan, Hati, Jamesa, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and Geranadans, Suriname and Trinidad and Tobago. Anguilla, Bermuda, the British Virgin Islands, the Caymans Islands and Turks and Cyprus Islands have associate member status and Aruba, Colombia, the Dominican Republic, Mexico, Puerto Rico and Venezuela maintain observer status. The chairmanship of the community is rotated every six months among the member countries' heads. The Sarisom Secretariat in Georgetown, Guyana is the principal administrative organ of the community and is headed by a secretary general who is the chief executive officer of the community. In 2007, CARICOM officially inaugurated the Serbian Court of Justice, which serves as the final court of appeal for CARICOM members and also handles regional trade disputes. Pradhan Mantri Urja Ganga project, the very next report. Prime Minister praised the completion of Bihar portion of Barwani Guwahati pipeline under Pradhan Mantri Urja Ganga project. The project is also known as Jagdishpur, Haldia and Bukaro Dhamra Pipeline Project. It was launched in 2016 and will cater to the energy requirements of five states namely Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Charkhand, Odisha and West Bengal. This pipeline will connect six districts in Bihar to the national gas grid. The project will provide accessing to the clean natural gas for industries, CNG for vehicles and PNG for homes promoting a sustainable lifestyle. Total length of pipeline under Pradhan Mantri Urja Ganga project is 3,384 km out of which 766 km of pipeline is in Odisha state and the balance of 2,618 km is in states of Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand, West Bengal and Assam. The seven main station cities include Varanasi, Patna, Bukaro, Jamshedpur, Kolkata, Ranchi, Bhuvaneshwar, Kattak and major beneficiaries of the project. The project is being implemented by a gale. Ballistic Missile Interceptor, the very next report. The DRDO and Indian Navy successfully conducted a maiden flight trial of sea-based endo-atmospheric interceptor missile off the coast of Odisha. India entered an allied club of nations with the capability to fire a ballistic missile defense interceptor from a naval platform. Prior to this, DRDO has successfully demonstrated Sorry, friends, for two minutes. Okay, continue this. Uh, it was launched in 2016 and will cater to the energy requirements of five states, namely Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand, Odisha, and West Bengal. I uh, have done this point. This uh, pipeline will connect six districts in Bihar to national gas grid. I have done this point in earlier points. Total length of pipeline under Pradhan Mandri Urja project is this. Okay, uh, I will continue from this one. India entered an allied club of nations with the capability to fire a ballistic missile defense interceptor from naval platform. Prior to this, the DRDO has successfully demonstrated land-based ballistic missile defense system with capability to neutralize ballistic missile threats emerging from adversaries. India's Ballistic Missile Defense Program India launched the BMD program after Kargil War in 1999 to encounter the enemy missions widening spectrum of ballistic missiles that usually delivered both conventional and nuclear warheads. Two tires of BMD system. Prithvi Air Defense Missile. It was originally tested in 2006 and is capable of intercepting and destroying missiles at exo-atmospheric altitudes ranging from 50 to 180 kilometers. The Pradyumna interceptor has already replaced the Prithvi Air Defense BMD. Exo-atmospheric missiles are capable of completing missions 
in the earth's upper atmosphere now next one is advanced air defense missile the second layer is advanced air defense missile for lower altitude interception it was first tested in 2007 and designed to knock down hostile missiles in the endo atmosphere at altitudes of 15 to 40 km the endo atmospheric missiles are the ones that operate within the earth's atmosphere that covers the altitude below 100 km logistics performance index lpi 2023 the very next report India's rank in the recently released World Bank Logistics Performance Index 2023 has improved by 6 places. Logistics Performance Index is released by World Bank. It is an interactive benchmarking tool created to help country, countries identify their challenges and opportunities they face in their performance on trade logistics and what they can do to improve their performance. it measures the ease of establishing reliable supply chain connections and structural factors that make it possible such as the quality of logistics services trade and transport related infrastructure as well as border controls highlight of lpi 2023 the lpi 2023 allows for comparisons across 139 countries the lpi 2023 for the first time measures the speed of trade with indicators derived from big data sets tracking shipments Singapore and Finland are the most efficient and highest ranked LPI countries as per 2023 LPI. India is ranked 38 out of 139 countries climbing 6 places from the previous index. Two major factors for India jump in the index could be modernization and digitalization which the report quotes as a reason to for emerging economies like india to lap frog advanced countries okay friends thank you so much 24th april 2023 ke current affairs hain aap sabhi is video ko zarur dhyan se dekhiyega and please like share and subscribe my channel as more as possible